says anything about suffering. Do you listen to the verse? And candidly, this is a verse that puts me in the dust. Listen to this. Philippians 1, 29. For unto you it is given in the behalf of Christ, not only to believe on him, but also to suffer for his sake. That was the verse that the Korean church took through that awful time of persecution, and some of it so unspeakable that I would not even mention what certain men endured during that particular time. When the Lord called Saul of Tarsus, he sent Ananias into him, and he said, Ananias, I want you to go into him. He's puzzled right now. He's blinded, and he's really confused. I want you to go into him. I want you to baptize him. His sight will be restored to him. He's a chosen vessel unto me. I'm going to give him the best time that any man's ever had, and I'm going to show him how much fun you can have being a Christian. Is that what he said? Well, that's what I hear today. That's not what he said. I'll show him how great things he must suffer for my name's sake. May I say to you, that puts me in the dust. I do not know about you. The sufferings of Paul were not redemptive. They are not mediatorial. They're ministerial. And I mean this. That Paul said that Christ died for our sins to present a complete salvation. But if this word of a complete salvation gets out in the Roman Empire, Paul the Apostle must pay a price. And in that, I'll be filling up the sufferings of Christ. Does that uh, today explain anything? No one can be born into this world physically until some woman travails in pain. I used to hear Dr. George Hill put it like this, and no one can be born again until someone is willing to travel. That may be the reason today we're not having revival as we hear so much about. That may be the reason today that uh, it's multitudes are not getting saved. And they're not. Election's no one up. willing to travel in order that someone might be born again. Judson went to Burma as a missionary. He was out there 12 years. He never had a convert. But my, the awful price that man paid. And the Missionary Society back in New England got a little disturbed, and they wrote him a letter. They said to him, how the prospect? In other words, why don't you come on home? Mm. And he wrote back these famous words. I have on, on a little motto that I keep in my study. The prospects are as bright as the promises of God. Twelve years he stayed in that land not a convert and how he suffered somebody said he's foolish it is estimated yeah. that after his death a revival did break out and for, and this was true now about 25 years ago for every second that judson spent in burma in those 12 years somebody was born again and i say to you Paul says, it's necessary for me to fill up the sufferings of Christ. For salvation, no. For his body's sake. What's the body? The church. It's one thing to say, oh, if the Lord would only come. It's another thing to try to win that last soul for Christ. It's another thing today to have a program in your life where you're trying to get the word of God out. I conclude. What does it cost you to be a Christian? Shall we pray? Heavenly Father, many of us here today are willing to do many things for Thee. But, oh God, how many of us are willing to pay a price? How many of us are really willing to suffer? 
in order that the word of God might go out, in order that someone might be born again. We pray today that thou would take this tremendous verse and we pray that thou will apply it to our lives. Deliver us, O oh God, from going on in our same old way, complaining and finding fault and talking about the coldness of the day. Lord, we do pray that we might get involved today and not even count the cost. But we pray in Jesus' name, amen. Amen. As Dr. McGee said, Jesus is calling you, saying, Come unto me, all ye who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Well, we can all relate to that kind of invitation. And don't you want to experience that kind of love and rest? Well, if you've never received this gift from God and you want to know more about it, then we have several Sleep free resources by Dr. McGee for you to listen to and read. To access them online or download them immediately, you can visit ttb.org and search rest. for How Can I Know God. Or to have a few of them sent to you by mail, please call us at 1-800-65-BIBLE. Now, if you're in a season of suffering right now, or maybe you're praying for someone who is, we have some other resources by Dr. McGee that might be helpful to you, especially a booklet called Why Do God's Children Suffer? In this heartfelt and encouraging message, we're going to hear seven reasons that Scripture says that we suffer. And then we're going to explore four benefits of suffering for the believer themselves. And for those who are struggling with past mistakes, I'd recommend Dr. McGee's booklet titled, Forget About It, How to Put the Past Behind You. If you need help moving forward with joy and confidence, this teaching from Philippians 3, verses 13 and 14 can help. Download these free digital booklets online at ttb.org. And while you're there, sign up to receive the newsletter every month and get more great content from Dr. McGee. And to check out the many other terrific resources we offer to deepen your love and knowledge of God's Word, just get in touch. You can visit ttb.org. You can always call us at 1-800-65-BIBLE or write us at Box 7100, Pasadena, California, 91109. In Canada, Box 25325, London, Ontario, N6C, 6B1. From Acts 2032, I'm Steve Schwetz, entrusting you to God and to the word of his grace, which is able to build you up and give you an inheritance among all those who are sanctified. Dr. McGee. Dr. McGee, I think, is the guy that just gave the sermon? Or was that like part of the ads after? I don't know. That was kind of confusing, right? And then it broke off into music, and I was like, oh, no, copyright. There's, like, standing water here. I don't, I don't know. I'm trying to charge my phone. That's why I was, like, have it in a fixed position here. It's kind of not that great. But, um, yeah, better make gas money, and then I have an appointment today to go, uh, do a like thing not a meet and greet but just like the um the handoff of the keys for the dog and everything because they're leaving so I've met them once before and then I'll come tonight and, and doggy treats hopefully they're not out of date I'll check the date on them because my appointments I get with Rover are kind of like spread out so they're high quality treats so I don't know how long their shelf life is, but, um, I always get more. I'm going to be working there, and I'm going to be, like, doing possibly downtown work. We'll see how that works out. Working on a rent bike. Like I said, we'll see. I want the Suron bike. I could tear it up with the Suron. 